Hi everybody. Here's day five for hashtag 31 days of creep with Kelly Donovan and many others who have joined. Today I'm going to share with you how I'm making and how I've made this. It's on a craft mat, a mini craft mat that you can find at the grocery store. It's basically comes like this. I pulled them apart and did my washi tape on the ends. And basically what you do is you put your bread in there and your, your cheese and you make a grilled cheese in the toaster. Same thing as a craft mat, just smaller and cheaper. They're like a buck something. So I made here a spider to go on the hair of the girl that I'm making for day four. So I want to share with you guys how I made that. And then I'll have to come back and show it to you when it's dry. But right now I'm going to show you how I did it. So basically I have here is three different colors um, of gloss enamels. Some green, gray, and black. Now the black doesn't look too black until it dries. Basically what I did is I googled a spider and just went from there not even exact kind of spider and I'm ready to do the butt it's kind of like a teardrop which this one the first one I showed you is nothing like a teardrop see so it's okay if it doesn't come out like a teardrop but this one I want it to look like a teardrop and then and basically an upside down teardrop and then I'm going to connect them and then I'm going to fill them in. Oh, the, my light fell, but it's fine. You guys can still see. And it's okay if it's crooked because it makes the spider look like it's in a movement. And then I gave it some kind of fangs. There's so many spiders out there that I just put a few of them together to give it a unique different kind of look. Then I did the legs. Let's do the legs. Start with the top ones. They kind of go... Well, what I do is they have eight legs, right? So what I did was I gave... I made sure I had enough space. So what I did is a dot. One, two, three, well, see I messed up. We're gonna have more than eight legs. That's okay. It's going to be an odd spider. And I'm perfectly okay with that. It'll be a secret spider. And I came out this way. And I'm just giving you um, ideas. So you, you go ahead and give it 20 legs or 2 legs. It's a special spider. Just like there's special people out there. We go. And these are going to come down. Somewhere in the world there has to be a spider with this many legs, right? Maybe in the rainforest. Make your um, legs thin so that when you peel it up, I mean, make them thick, sorry, for when you peel it up, they don't break off. And don't be afraid to turn your craft mat. You won't learn until you try, right? That's the way I see it. Okay. He, he is what he is, right? Then I'm going to put some lines of green through. You could do pumpkins, you can do skulls, anything and to embellish your art with or to put on for barrette or If you put some 
and is that like elastic string? You can make yourself a, a mask out of this stuff. Okay, so there's the eyes. And then I grabbed the gray and I basically went in the middle. I just made lines on the legs like that. Just because I wanted to. I thought he looked super cool that way. And different. He's already different, so let's make him up a little more different. A little more unique. Just like I am. We all are. Make sure it just touches the, the craft mat and uh, keep it together. Maybe he looks like he's shackled down. He's an inmate spider. He's given the world too much problems and so they shackled him down. That's sad. <laughs> the imagination. Now it's coming out a little messy, but I'm okay with that. Just trying to hurry, just giving you guys the concept and the idea of how I did my first spider because when I use it on the canvas, I want to be able to have given you guys a tutorial on how I got it. So you'll see the canvas first, the girl that I'm doing first, and then you'll see this video. Um, okay, so that's what I did for that. Then I grabbed a needle. Hopefully I can find my needle. Pretty sure anything pointy will work. I grabbed my needle and I ran it through the middle of the green so that it can come together. like that. I run it sideways just to lay it down somewhat and to let it run into the legs. Kind of like when you do nail art. Okay. Then I pull some pearls and random things. This one's going to have two pearl eyes. I'm going to try my best to drop it on the green part. There we go. It'll settle and then I'll push it in. Some of the green is going to come out from the bottom and I do want that. Then I'm going to drop a few pearls and these are flat backs and you find these in the nail art section on eBay. They're really, really cheap. You get like 3,000 of them for a dollar if you want to pay buy now. Or you can do what I do and I bid on them and I, I've gotten them for 10 cents for like 3,000 or 2,000 for like 10 cents. But if you just don't want to bid, then you can purchase them at regular price which would be about a buck. See, I'm going to push them in. I'm going to push the eyes in. And then I have these shiny ones, but I want the red one at the bottom. I need a move move that up to give this one some room. And these shiny ones, I'm, I just wet my finger a little with my mouth, my tongue. I don't have one of those bead picker upper thingies. I would love one, but I don't have one. And I'm just going to place a few of these down.
another thing I'm going to show you I made with the same technique so I'm going to move these around till they're placed where I want them push them in. You can put them anywhere you want. Just have have a blast. Have a great time doing this. When it dries, we'll come back I'll come back and share with you guys. But let me show you the difference between my first time and my second time. Your first time might be a better time than your second time. Or the opposite. Or you just have to work on it. Or be happy with what you with what you created. It's one of a kind. It's handmade, right? It's not manufactured. Um, let's, let me show you another thing I've been doing. Trying to make spider webs. Oh, I just dipped. Okay. These here. I have a few of them because I did a few of them. Here's that one. You can chop them up and use them in your art. You can use whatever side you like. You can add glitter. Uh, you can use different colors. I know you can do it with glue gun, but I prefer this stuff better than glue gun. You can even use these as your stencils. This one came apart, but I'm still going to use it. Okay, look at You can even, I'll show you right now. So there's two ways. There's where you just go like this and drizzle it, and then there's the way where you run something through it, and it becomes like that. Look at the difference. You see, you've got like this, or you got like that. I'll show you both. Actually, I'm going to make that my, sec my sixth video so that I have something else to show you guys. So I'll be back in a little bit. And there's my hashtag 31 days of creep from Kelly Donovan, day five. See you in a little bit.